Hi there, I'm Vera O'Connor, and today what we're going to be doing is visiting with Ingrid Butler here in her home <laughs> studio, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't seen Ingrid in a long time, and it was so exciting to see some of her new paintings and her new subjects that she's working on. So I hope you uh, join us, and Ingrid, why don't you say hello? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, whenever you're watching this. <laughs> It's so nice to have you invite us into your homes. And Virgin and I are, we're just, we're two artists, two crazy artist women with all this energy and enthusiasm and excitement. And she always brings out so much joy in me. So welcome. You. You're welcome, my Thank dear. You. And uh, today we're going to be looking at some of my artwork and exploring a little bit around my house, seeing how I live. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay? I thanks. think you will. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right. Have thanks, fun. Ingrid. Thank so you let's very take much. a look. I mean, okay, just... Ingrid. Let, show me your space here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's see your creative space. This All is right. pretty awesome. Well, because of COVID, I've brought my huge studio in Sausalito home. Not all of it, but a large part of it. And as you can see, it looks like total chaos here. I mean, all my scissors, my pencils. I'm working on this collage right now, and I'm trying to decide if I should use this flower, if I should put this string in the bird's mouth. You know, everything is movable. So that's what I'm working on right now. I found this paper in the trash at the ICB where I had my studio, and I thought, oh, I can do something with that. Why throw that away? So sometimes I jump into the dumpster. <laughs> Not really. Not, but, no, yes, um, really. If I see paper <laughs> that looks interesting that I can do something with, then I I go for it. So, you know, I make all these little elements of flowers. And over here I have butterflies. And what do I have in here? Oh, birds and more butterflies. <laughs> you know, you name it. I've got it here. And these are all my little vitamins and my elements that I work with to create collage and how do you decide what you want to put where? Uh, you know, that's a really good question. I have a design background, so I think at my age, with all the experience I've had, I just somehow intuitively know what makes a good composition, and then I just have to find the elements to create that composition. But I'm not real intellectual about it. You mm -hmm. know, I think this is working because... Uh, there's just a lot going on, and I'm doing this for a fundraiser, so I'm thinking maybe in the kitchen or in a children's room with the birds, So, and I'm into circles right now. There's always something I'm always into, you know, so right now it's circles. and. But you have such a, a great, you know, what's wonderful about this is your design and your use of color and the elements and... You know, that is not something that I do very well. I, I have a different vision. But, you know, what is so fascinating was when you can put these pieces together. Yes. Well, you know, I have always been, you know, God, I had a God-given gift for color. Mm -hmm. I know how to work color. And when I went, I went to... Uh, I studied graphic design at the Rhode Island School of Design. I'm looking at the colors behind and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, go There's ahead. There's colors everywhere. So I had a teacher, Joseph Albers. I mean, he's dead now, but he was a great color teacher. But, you know, you can't really teach color. Mm -hmm. You have to have it in your DNA. That's all I can say. You know, I've never read a book about color theory or... You just have to do it. I mean, with art, you just do it's a, it. It's an intuitive process. It's intuitive. I'm not intellectual about mm -hmm. it. So uh, I'll tell you, it was really difficult to try to put uh, the idea of color down because I, like you, just like to intuitively go for it. Look what I is just this? got this big jar of orange acrylic paint. Uh, I, I bet you're wait. excited it's about that. It's French. Okay, oh. I've never used this before, and it's so thick with pigment. It's so delicious. I want to go. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yum. So, and I all even when you know when I was a kid, I always wanted to eat paint and flowers. I wanted to eat the color. Yeah, I know. I get that. <laughs> it's like, oh yes, I can yeah. taste purple. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's true. Yeah, so, some people, you know, some people do I that. Have my paints over here. I brought a nice. few home from the studio. But you know, I'm gradually going back now that COVID's sort of on the wane in California. But you never know. Mm -hmm. This is my little. Uh, Lammy here. Sweet. He protects all my paints. Love that. And uh, 
and then oh you know what it and uh it's just uh, so let's look at all your fun stuff all of this cool stuff that you've got around i just did this sheet of paper which i, I really did you love. mark oh you painted this yeah yes. this is all acrylic and also an oil stick i think i used an oh, oil yeah. stick on okay that. i haven't tried that so oil stick and acrylic they're not exactly friends but it works. You mm, just that's have to. Interesting. You have to wait for the uh, oil stick to dry. Uh huh. You know because the acrylic dries much faster. Well, that's faster. something we'll have to. Here's explore. something I'm thinking about working on. This is an old collage that I did, mm -hmm. and I'm very unhappy with it. At the time, I really loved it, but that was like ten years ago. So now I'm thinking this week I'm going to try to either peel some of these elements off or add elements, and try to save this piece. You know I've been doing a lot of. Well, revisiting, revisiting, Re revisiting, revisiting yeah. and redoing. So over here, uh, I did this on a rainy day. I found this big canvas in a trash bin, <laughs> a big trash bin by my studio. And I hauled it out and I brought it home and I just repainted the whole thing. Looking okay. out my living room window, it was a rainy, rainy day. It was springtime and, you know, drip, drip, drip. I'm kind of tired of drips now. Everybody's using drips. Mm. But I did this probably eight years ago. So, mm -hmm. but it's so cool to repurpose. What is this here that you've got? Oh. Well, let's go over okay. here. There's more light. Okay, so during COVID, lovely, wonderful COVID, mm. every day I did an art project, every single day. And so after I had all these, you know, I don't know, 100 and 300, 320. <laughs> different art projects, I decided to put them into these little books. That's gorgeous. So, Did, uh, Is that a picture? Or? That's actually a photograph. I went down to Monterey. I, I ran away for three days recently, and I just thought that was so you pretty. You took that picture? Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Thank you. You know, it was at the Car, uh, the Carmel Mission, uh, which but is... I love the composition on that. Oh, thank you. So, you know... <laughs> Um, this was a cicada. Remember when yes. the cicadas were happening? I think um, they still are. Aren't they tasty? This too? was the <laughs> yeah, this was the floor of a parking lot, but I just oh. loved it. It looked like a painting to me, so I didn't do that. I just photographed it. That's just amazing. A floor of uh, to have that blue. I and... know, isn't it that pink kind mm -hmm. of? And then. Uh, I, you know, I would challenge myself. I said, okay, today is the day of the bumblebee. So I made, I made a bumblebee. I mean, all the little challenges I gave myself were quite simple. But, you know, I live alone. So this was what got me through the day of COVID. Mm -hmm. And, oh, then these are some puzzles. I decided to make puzzles. So I would cut up different pieces of paper that I had done. And I let this negative area show through to show that it was pieces of a puzzle. So, well, what I mean, you're just so amazing in everything that you think of doing, you know, just your vision, your the way you put things together. Oh, this was uh okay, so I was thinking of uh oh, uh, the artist, what's his name? I can't think of his name now, but um I can't think of his name. I'm sorry. But anyway, Rousseau, Rousseau. So it's, Rousseau was my challenge for the day. So uh, I had done this book previously, but that's a Rousseau painting. And that's a three-dimensional book. Oh. So each leaf becomes a page. And then over here, Rousseau did a painting of a very mysterious dark figure in a jungle setting. So um, this is all collage. These are all just leaves that I... And this is out. during COVID, you put this together. Yeah. Was that in one day that you put that together? Yeah, I would do one a day. Wow. You know, and I just folk, that's, that's another beautiful puzzle. Too. That's another That's book. really beautiful. Uh, you know, so you get the idea. I mean, this was, that I just, cool. I had this box of eggs, and I just thought, God, it's so beautiful. You know, the straw mm -hmm. and the filling next to the color of the egg. This and then is, that's a great uh, complimentary piece right next to it. That is so cool. Yeah, that's my uh, Pollock. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because I'm, I never tried to copy Pollock. It was just my own process mm -hmm. that led me to that sort of technique. Well, it's releasing. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, oh, you know what this is? Like this it? is actually mold on <laughs> pumpernickel bread. Ew! <laughs> I know, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty. That is insane. I just blew it up. You know, I blew up the 
that piece is of so bread. cool. You know, I love painting lichen, but that is unique. Gold <laughs> on pumpernickel bread. <laughs> this I tweaked, you know, in a, a computer program. This was just one piece of paper, and I sort of, uh, I don't know what I did to it into, in the computer, but I was playing around. Tall grasses. So anyway, this is one of wow. Of so you many have a, books. quite a few. Yeah, and you did yeah. it by the month, kind of, right? Well, oh yeah. my gosh, the there's fly. a fly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's neat. So these were really fun. You I, know, it was just really fun during that whole period of aloneness to. Uh, and what is that? That's hail. We had a wow. hailstorm here, and I ran out in the hail. It was just this fluky, fluky thing. Wow, the vision that you have is just, it's always been amazing. So anyway, I think you folks get the idea that Andrew <laughs> was busy during COVID. <laughs> There's a fundraiser for Marin Villages. Mm -hmm. and oh, wow. So I've been making these little 12 by 12 collages. They're half paintings, half collage. And, you know, all these papers are papers that I have decorated myself and then cut up from a parent sheet. So they're having this fundraiser, and I just thought I'd do four or five or six of these little pieces uh, to donate to them. How long does it take you to do that? And did you do that one down there? Yeah, this is a totally Ooh. different color palette from That's what I usually really do. That's really nice. It almost looks like a Gire Vernet, you know, in, in France. Well, but it is fascinating. So this is a canvas, right? And then you've yeah. got... Uh, 24 by 24. Oh, somebody's going to so be unlike lucky. Me, but, but it's so cool. Thank you. Thank and you. somebody's going to be really lucky with that one. And then over here, so you're doing this pattern. Well, this I'm debating. You know, I don't know if it should go this way, if it should go that way. You know, I don't know if this should happen or, you know, I'm, I'm playing what around with this. What about one more element in there? I think, I think you're absolutely right because it's too spot on mm -hmm. you know i mean it's just too there you need something to make well, it more just interesting from everything else that you're showing me like that over there and that you know it that's all broken up space and this is right. also very very nice too but yeah something it's around a little the, static don't mm -hmm. you think you know kind of yeah i mean like you could i don't know i you know this is just how i operate i have all these things laying around the house you know i could mm -hmm. who knows i'm not saying that's the answer but that's how I come to an answer, you know, by adding, subtracting. Well, if you're anything like me, we'd go for a walk or a drive and come back, and then it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I've got oh, it. Oh, yeah, you got it. Right, you, gotta, <laughs> you have to move away from it. Now, over here, <laughs> this will be the end. Uh, I had an Ooh. art challenge for uh, the LGBT plus community, uh -huh. and that's what was my solution to that. And all of those are, you know, my papers. And then yeah. I had another art challenge, and it was for chaos. So I thought this was pretty chaotic. I put all these different circles and squares and triangles together. and But your use chaos. of color uh, really works well. You know, it's really nice. I actually like this shot with the, uh, the fingers and oh, the yeah, circles. Nice. Yeah. And there we go. Isn't yeah, that cool? That is cool. Even though that is the single piece and this is a different piece. Well, maybe we should work together on some of these collages. <laughs> that might be fun. The two geniuses. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed it. So until next time, have fun and happy painting. Happy painting and always play. Be childlike. Exactly. <laughs> and I think, you know, I'm kind of like that. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.